Kenya Power will begin a six-month trial on electric car charging stations in Nairobi and Nakuru next month as it sets its eyes on new revenue streams from e-mobility. The corporation is aiming to increase power sales in order to take advantage of the expanding e-mobility market, which has witnessed increased demand for electric vehicles due to high fuel prices worldwide. Automobile owners have been considering other options to reduce the cost of transportation, such as switching to electric cars or modifying their vehicles to run in liquefied petroleum gas, that's LPG. Uh, the NCBA Group a Bank has launched a 2 billion shilling electric vehicle financing as customers increasingly shift to, uh, to battery powered cars amid climate change advocacy and the rise in global oil prices. The lender stated in a state, said in a statement that the financing for new cars and other forms of public transportation is a component of its green finance strategy. According to the statement, consumers will benefit from asset financing for up to 80% of the cost of any personal car, public service car that they choose during the course of the five-year agreement. Uh, joining us uh, to discuss from Nairobi, Brian Lugadilu, who is an engineer at Amotech Africa. Uh, Brian, thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon to you. Um, so uh, Nairobi, I want to start with the Kenya Power um, news. Nairobi sounds as an ob sounds like an obvious choice uh, for testing stations. But what about Nakuru? Um, wh why the choice of a site for Kenya Power to test these charging stations for electric vehicles? Yeah, so first you have to know that uh, Nakuru is a, a city on uh, approximately 160 kilometers uh, northwest of Nairobi. And uh, itself is a gateway to the more rural uh, western region of the country. So by having a test site uh, in this city, uh, what we are, they, they are trying to do is that uh, they are trying to generate data on the types of e-mobility applications that will be able to work in a more rural setting. So here I'm talking about uh, your e-cargo bicycles your uh, electric uh, boats, your electric trucks, and uh, yeah, uh, those are the ones that uh, might not be more applicable to test in a city like Nairobi, which is uh, uh, urban in, in nature. Okay, thank you for that. Thanks for explaining that. So the, the, the plan will see Kenya Power build home, biz, home, business, and public charging infrastructure across the country. Can they handle that alone, or do you see a you know, public-private partnership in the future to build these stations for electric vehicles and so on? I can say uh, for now it, uh, it, it, it might be a big challenge for them to go it alone. Uh, this is because uh, there are a lot of uh, challenges uh, that uh, we face uh, in terms of the util utility company. So here we are talking about uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, rising cost of operation, uh, which have uh, also seen uh, uh, elevated uh, financial uh, financing costing, which are also are uh, compounded by a lot of uh, system losses. So for them to try and uh, venture into the electric vehicle alone, it will be a challenge. So I can say on my uh, on my side, I I will see it more like a, a project that uh, can uh, take the public-private partnership. Uh, like uh, the recently launched uh, Nairobi Expressway, which was launched uh, last uh, month by the president, uh, where we see uh, not only the government, but also the private sector coming in to uh, invest in uh, heavy capital uh, uh, projects. All right. And the, the government aims to increase the number of electric vehicles in the country to you know, 53,800 by 2040 if 29% of new vehicle registrations uh, are, happen. Can you see that number being hit by that time? I can say yes, as a country, we, are, we can be able to hit those numbers. However, uh, this uh, will be dependent on uh, trying to eliminate uh, the challenges that uh, electric vehicles owner might face, because uh, these uh, challenges, uh, in a way, might be a barrier of entry to most of the clients to acquire electric vehicles. So here I'm uh, thinking in terms of uh, uh, trying to lower the cost of repair because you'll find that uh, because of this uh, technology being new in the country and uh, in the region uh, in, in extent, you'll find that uh, we don't have that much expertise in terms of um, repair, uh, repair works and uh, solutions. Uh, we're also seeing that uh, in regions, certain regions in the country, you'll find they are very, they, they are fluctuating temperatures where you find uh, uh, towns around the mountain, Mount Kenya region. Uh, they experience extremely low temperatures, which are um, a challenge to battery because you find uh, most batteries tend to lose power when they are subjected to extreme uh, low temperatures. 
Mm, makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I want to pivot to the private sector now. We've been talking about NCBA Bank PLC becoming the first bank uh, to offer electric vehicle financing. How, how encouraging is this for the ecosystem in terms of, I guess, retail adoption? I can say uh, uh, vehicle financing in general uh, continues to be key in uh, vehicle ownership in general uh, in Kenya as a country. And you'll find a lot of uh, a majority of Kenyans uh, acquire their vehicles through financing, uh, like uh, uh, bank loan facilities. And we find that uh, by NCBA coming into uh, the financing of uh, EV uh, units, uh, that will encourage a lot of uh, potential uh, owners uh, to go into the EV market as opposed to the traditional uh, second-hand uh, equipment uh, from uh, the Asian uh, countries like uh, ex-Japanese cars and uh, yeah. Okay, and do you think other banks, I mean, we've talked about the adoption from consumers, but as far as other banks, do you think they might be prompted to jump in on this immediately or wait to see how NCBA's loans uh, perform first? Uh, I think with the current push for globally for uh, countries to reduce their uh, greenhouse emissions, uh, also the skyrocketing uh, fuel prices, especially uh, with the recent months uh, from the uh, Ukraine-Russian uh, war, we've seen uh, the, the, the fuel price uh, skyrocket and you'll find a lot of uh, uh, end users, like a lot of uh, uh, individuals are uh, trying to shy away from uh, 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 fuel, uh, fossil fuel-based uh, uh, vehicles, and we find that uh, this in itself is an incentive to a lot of banks, where they are able to uh, extend uh, similar facilities to these uh, users, and we'll see uh, in itself it can be a catapult for them to join, and not just to it for NCBL's uh, facility to see how it it it, it progresses. All right, I guess how crucial is vehicle financing to electric vehicle adoption? I can say uh, one, uh, any form of financing uh, guarantees the vendor that at least uh, the service they're offering to the market is uh, able to attract uh, buyers because of the facility in itself. So we find uh, that is, it does not change in terms of uh, uh, EV vehicle financing. So it will facilitate uh, potential car owners to adopt EV units. And in itself, it will uh, encourage uh, a lot of uh, uh, car dealerships to incorporate uh, electric vehicles into their uh, units. Yeah. And, and what about, on the other side, headwinds and challenges to electric vehicle adoption? What, what, what do you think those are? I can say uh, specifically in uh, Kenya as a country, we'll find that uh, there are very few charging stations. Uh, that is uh, in the urban uh, uh, cities, like uh, the urban centers like uh, Nairobi. And you'll find uh, outside Nairobi, in the more rural areas, we have close to zero uh, charging uh, stations. And this in itself is an impediment because you'll find uh, a lot of people are restricted to using EV units uh, within uh, the cities. So that in itself uh, is one of the challenges. The other one is, uh, as I had mentioned earlier, the cost of repair, where you find uh, uh, because it's still a new technology in uh, Africa and in our country, uh, you find that uh, there, there's, there's not that much uh, expertise in terms of uh, service after sale services here. All right. Well, you have a big, big election uh, next week. Um, have any of the candidates in the lead up to the election spoken about technology being part of their manifestos if they win and so on and so forth? Uh, I can say all uh, the presidential candidates uh, have uh, shown an appreciation for the importance of technology in general. And uh, we see uh, this uh, especially in the manufacturing industry, where most of uh, these uh, presidential candidates are uh, pushing towards uh, Kenya becoming a more uh, a country that manufactures more rather than importing. And in itself, we find that uh, electric vehicles technology in itself uh, is um, a technology that can be plugged into the manufacturing industry in terms of uh, battery assembly units, in terms of uh, uh, proper disposal of batteries, especially at the end of life of these uh, units. And we see that um, because of the... the the, the recent uh, increases in uh, fuel prices, most of them will be pushing uh, for electric vehicle technology uh, in terms of, uh, yeah, in, 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 their, in, in their manifestos as, uh, in case any of them wins. All right, great stuff, Brian. Uh, finally, well, what's your outlook, I guess, for growth in tech in Kenya 2023 and beyond? Are you encouraged? 
I can say uh, from uh, where I sit, uh, from Amotec Africa, uh, we are uh, anticipating uh, to see a growth in the testing and uh, measurement of uh, the reliability of uh, the technology that we use, uh, be it in the electricity generation uh, utility companies or in the day-to-day -day, uh, technology that you use at home. Is it your electric vehicle? How reliable is the battery? How reliable is the charging system? So that uh, when you try to adopt uh, such technologies in the society, it's something that, you can, that can be relied upon. Great stuff. Brian, Amotech, thank you so much for your time talking to us about electric vehicles and the tech outlook over in uh, the largest economy in Eastern Africa. Thank you so much. Thank you.